Hello everyone, it is Al Smith from the School of Sheen and uh, Lent is about to begin. And uh, people ask me all the time, what are you doing for this year's uh, series of talks? Are you giving parish missions? Are you gonna be doing a number of video reflections? And uh, so I have to say, yes, I'll be doing the video reflections. Uh, the parish missions, I'm not so sure yet. Um, we still have many COVID restrictions uh, in place, so it's hard to say uh, what will happen, but I am available if uh, things open up. Love to come to your parish and give uh, some of Sheen's uh, wisdom that uh, I've been able to compile uh, in a book called The Cries of Jesus from the Cross. And so uh, many of you are familiar with this book and you've seen me on EW10 television. Uh, so it is great to share Sheen's writings on the cross. And um, I thought I would spend some time this Lent uh, sharing with you some of the harder to find Sheen books. Uh, these are books that I included in the anthology, The Cries of Jesus from the Cross, uh, but uh, I think they need to be revisited in a very special way uh, this Lent. And uh, so I'm going to share with you, of course, uh, the 1940 uh, book called The Seven Virtues, because uh, I really believe we need to practice the virtues. And uh, Archbishop Sheen, um, again, in a very beautiful way, he took the seven virtues, and that's the th three theological virtues of faith, hope, and love. Uh, some people call it faith, hope, and charity, uh, but those three theological virtues and the four cardinal virtues, and I've got to make sure I get these right. Um, I think it's uh, fortitude, um, prudence, temperance, and justice. Okay. Uh, again, I always had to concentrate there, uh, but still those four cardinal virtues. And so he takes these seven virtues and applies them to the seven last words our Lord spoke from the cross. So uh, looking forward to just talking about the virtues. We need to practice the virtues. Um, we all seem to practice vice, right? <laughs> the seven deadly sins. Well, these seven virtues will help us make reparation and to um, hopefully amend our life. Um, again, practicing the virtues. So we're gonna do that. Now I'm also gonna do uh, seven videos on uh, this book called The Seven Words to the Cross and uh, 1944, and uh, Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen takes us on a journey where he presents seven groups of people who challenge the cross, who um, kind of, uh, you know, resist the message. And he talks about the humanist. Uh, we all kind of know that, right? The sinners. Um, I like to say the sinners uh, and the selfish, that's right. Uh, the fourth group that he talks about is the intelligentsia, uh, the know-it-alls, right? Uh, then there's the moderns, and we got a lot of those. And uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Um, it'll come to me. Um, it's the um, the thinkers and the sensationalists. So uh, again, these seven groups of people that uh, are, again Archbishop Fulton G. G. Fulton J. Sheen will reintroduce to us. So. Uh, again, love this book, 1944, The Seven Words to the Cross. And then there is the 1938 book called The Rainbow of Sorrow. And this is where, at the time, Monsignor Sheen spoke about why there's pain, why the innocent suffer. Uh, talks about unjust suffering. Um, and I think we sometimes ask ourselves, why all this suffering? Uh, again, uh, God in the soul that whole idea of do I have a soul and does God exist but still our Lord from the cross said those beautiful words my God my God why have you forsaken me and uh, again other uh, ways that Sheen talks about how it's a planned universe God has a plan and uh, again it's this eternal freedom that um, our good Lord wants us to have and Sheen uh, explains it so well in this book. So uh, 1938, Rainbow of Sorrow, and I'm looking forward to doing seven videos on this book. And so uh, 21 videos in total. I'm going to release one every second day uh, just to give you something to think about and to, of course, enjoy. And these three books are included in 
the anthology, Lord Teach Us to Pray. Uh, you can follow along with the book. Uh, I have a Lenten reading guide that I've published on my website, bishopsheentoday.com, and I'd ask you to join me. Uh, join me for this video series. Join me uh, in reading the book together. And so, again, these three books I'm talking about, The Seven Virtues, The Rainbow of Sorrow, and The Seven Words to the Cross are included in this anthology, which is a collection of seven of Sheen's books on the seven last words. So uh, very happy to share with you uh, one of my loves, which is the love of the cross and the love of Sheen's writings on the seven last words. So I uh, look forward to having a great Lent with you. I will keep uh, sharing with you on Facebook and social media and my YouTube channel. So please join me. Uh, please pray for me. As you know, I will pray for you. And so uh, hopefully again, we will have the best Lent ever. Uh, hopefully one day we'll see you in church. God love you.